2017 phone call when he was talking about Badgerys Creek land deals. I don't need to know that bit. Um, um, Mr Cornell, um, I reject that um, assumption strongly. Um, I've always acted uh, in the best interest of the people of this state. I've not done anything wrong. I've not done anything wrong and the matters you raise are, uh, have already been looked at by the integrity body. Is to get a cut from developers on the site. Look, I've obviously already made my comments known about that. Um, I will not tolerate, never have and never will, any improper conduct by any... But your MP, problem is no-one no can take you seriously after this affair, can you? And it's not about the personal, it's about the professional. Why didn't you pull up Daryl Maguire in any of these phone calls? Why didn't well, you look, report that... any of this behaviour? He was clearly lobbying for developers while you were Premier and he was a Parliamentary Secretary. Why didn't you act on this, Premier? Uh, well, look, that's um, all your opinion, uh, Mr Clinnell. It's but in I'll the evidence, this. Premier. Uh, but I'll say this. At all times, I've acted in the best interests of this state. Had I known that any wrongdoing was occurring at any stage, I would not have hesitated to act. Uh, in fact, I acted very swiftly when, I ha when I've had to. And, uh, and I say again, I'd be the first one to put up my hand uh, and admit I've done anything wrong. OK, well, haven't. you said to him, they seem to think it's in your electorate. I didn't say anything to my staff. Why was that? Well, at all times, I've maintained... At all times, I've maintained a distinction between my personal and private life and the public office I Yes, hold. but this involves the public office. Why exactly, didn't you is... tell your staff that it was outside his electorate and why didn't it raise alarm bells for you that he was lobbying for matters outside his electorate? It must have Premier. Uh, look, it's really important uh, for me to stress again that at all times there was a clear distinction between my personal life and uh, the way I conducted my public office. There always has been and always will be. But I also appreciate very much uh, that at all times, at all times, if there is any, any, any uh, example where I feel the integrity of the office someone holds is not being held uh, to the standards accepted by the public, of course I will take Will you apologise to the party room today? Will you apologise to the people of New South Wales for not dobbing in Daryl Maguire earlier? Well, look, I've already uh, made my comments um, known extensively yesterday and I, can I say I appreciate, and I, and I did yesterday, I appreciate um, the difficult circumstances that have arisen, but I also appreciate that at all stages I did everything uh, I had to do in relation to executing my job in public But why office. did you think it was OK for him to get a commission, to get a cut? Just explain that, please. At the end of the day, uh, what guides us in this place are the rules that are in this place. MPs, depending on the office they hold, uh, have restrictions, but they also have obligations in relation to the way they... Weren't you concerned? Offices. Weren't you concerned? Uh, MPs can get additional salary lobbying for developers. Well, un unfortunately, I don't, I don't, or fortunately, I don't set the rules on what business interests MPs are allowed to do. They are based on what is in the pecuniary interest register. They are... They are that a member must not knowingly and improperly use their influence to seek to affect a decision by a public official to further the private interests of the member. Correct. And that is exactly to do with what... No, no, but that's a different well, that's question, the question I was I'm asked there. I know, but the question I was asked there is a different one. In relation to what members are able to do, that is enshrined in various codes uh, and standards. Uh, I don't set those rules. They've been adopted uh, previously and are enforced uh, by various bodies. And in relation to your question... Sorry, can you repeat it? Clearly, that MPs must not knowingly and improperly use their influence to seek to affect a decision by a public official to further the private interests of that member. And you are aware that that is exactly what Daryl Maguire was trying to do in relation to the property at Badgerys Creek? I was absolutely not aware, which is why I didn't report anything. He told anything. you on the call. Which is... Premier, which is, he told you on the call. Didn't he? Which, which is why... <laughs> and he never reported it. The, the you know, matters uh, before the ICAC uh, involving Mr Maguire subject to those investigations, I stress again, I stress again uh, that I did nothing wrong and if I had, I'd be the first one to put my well, hand up. Well, do you up. admit you should have reported him now? 
If you reported uh, him earlier and he is indeed found corrupt, you could have prevented corruption, Premier. Uh, can I say this also, uh, that uh, regrettably uh, Mr Maguire approached a number of people in government, a number of public servants. Uh, he, he was rigorous in his attempts and his attempts amounted to nothing. His attempts amounted to nothing. I'm sorry? Are you, you've disowned your former boyfriend. Do you, are you worried what he might have to say in the witness box tomorrow? I'm, I'm not concerned whatsoever.